Okay, what we're doing here is we're going to do the final assembly on the pump. And we have two types of pumps here. This is a submersible pump uh, that actually fits down inside the tank. Uh, it's a, uh, a Divatron. And what's nice about it is it's got a stainless steel mesh screen, a one inch outlet. And what's really nice though is it has a, a run dry switch. It turns itself off when there's no water in the tank. And it's got an internal pressure switch. So what that means is you can leave this plugged in all the time. It has a really, really long cord so you can run this and won't have to make any connections. And when you're running your hose at the end of this, uh, at, at the end of the line, a garden hose or, or a sprinkler, if, um, if it runs out of water, it turns itself off, or if you shut the, the, if you have a hand valve and you shut that off, it will sense that you no longer require water and it will shut itself down. So you don't have to keep this plugged in uh, or keep unplugging it and plugging it back in. It can stay plugged in all the time, which is really nice. To deliver the water conveniently in this tank, we have this internal piece of uh, a plumbing that we're gonna put in the tank. Gravity fed, you would need it down here. What's nice about this is, since the, the pump is going to be inside the tank, this will actually be sitting and come out of the tank. Uh, this is the bulkhead fitting, and your, your valve will be here on the outside of the tank. This will fit in, and I have this elbow in so that the pump rests uh, right below this, this access point. So now, if there's an issue with the pump, we can actually pull this piece off uh, with a union that I'll put in here later, and you can actually pull the pump off uh, and out of the tank without uh, having to empty the tank. So that makes it really convenient. Uh, we used to use these types of pumps. These are nice, but each time you hook the hose up and use water, you're going to have to, this isn't waterproof, you're going to have to move the pump and it's just less convenient. This submersible pump is definitely the way to go.